Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next example, and we have the cube root of a negative number. Now, if I remember right with the rules, if we take the cube root of a to the third power, that is equal to a, and so therefore, if a is a negative number, for example, the cube root of negative 2 to the third power, that is equal to negative 2. So we can do the same thing here. The cube root of a negative number is going to have a negative answer. However, we can also think of it this way. This can be written as the product of the cube root of negative 1 times 1 over 8. And then we can separate the two. We can write this as the cube root of negative 1 times the cube root of 1 over 8. And of course, the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1 because negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So this can be written as negative 1 times the cube root of 1 over 8. And then we can separate these because that's a fraction. So this can be written as negative 1 times the cube root of 1 divided by the cube root of 8. And this is therefore equal to negative 1 times the cube, root of, the cube root of 1 is simply equal to 1, and the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. In other words, it's minus 1 half as the final result. Now you may ask yourself, why does it go through all those steps? Can we simply look at that and go, the answer to that is simply negative 1 half? And the answer is yes, you can see that, but sometimes it helps to see how we can write this in various formats to see how the rules work when we deal with negative signs and when we deal with radical signs. And that is how it's done.